So, <clears throat> I come back to the big question of money. And the question is, is money one big scam? And I want to illustrate this with a story that I've shared with you already. Uh, if you're a big fan, if you watched all the films, then you will find this somewhere, I think. And that is that I once met a guy as a result of these films who told me that when his child was five years old, his son, he took him into a big department store and he trained him how to, he got him to, to take something out of the store without paying. Um, as part of his training as a parent, this is what he did for his son. And a lot of people have a lot of difficulty getting their heads around that. Um, I certainly did at the beginning when he told me it. But let me try and explain what I think. He's never really explained to me about it. He just told me that's what he did. It kind of gave me a vague idea of why, but not detailed. And I wanted to kind of illustrate this with um, a piece of news uh, that's, that's come out recently, which is in the, in, in the next week here in the UK, they're going to be char all the supermarkets are going to be charging five pence or whatever it is, something like that, for a plastic bag, and they have to by law. <laughs> now, um, I again don't know whether to kind of laugh or cry uh, at this idea because. It's kind of, it's a little bit dark, like the whole of money thing, and it's like quite kind of funny in a way that basically the the victims of this whole scam just carry on just taking it, yeah? So the victims of this scam are, I mean, the idea of it is that to suggest that somehow, you know, we need to be, we need to take care of the environment and um, and therefore, you know, we have to get them to play for plastic bags so they'll bring their own plastic bags back or or so that you know the money can go to some charity you know the well the money left after everything else after all the, the expenses goes to charity you know ah oh, right yeah so you're forcing the poor to give money to charity you're forcing the poor to pay for these things or you're forcing them to having to somehow remember to bring them to the shop so that they don't have to pay for them you know because because the government and the corporations care so much about the environment, of course they do. They're doing everything they can in Tesco's um, <laughs> to, to limit the use of plastic, right. I mean, have you, have you ever been in there? I mean, it's like, it's plastic everywhere. Um, so, and, and the point about it is that 6p is not a lot of money it's basically not nothing. I mean, for for the rich, six p is literally like nothing. It does. It you know, it makes no difference whether they pay the six p or whether they pay nothing. It doesn't. It's it's irrelevant to them. You know, so to them it doesn't mean anything. But to the poor, every penny means something. You know, and if they're going to pay, you know, whatever, every penny. You know, or to alternatively, to put it in an alternative way, that the the scam about money is a the way it's created. And B, that we're paying completely different things for the same item, and the poorest pay the most, and the richest don't pay anything in effect. So, you know, if if so, if Richard Branson took one of his goddamn Virgin trains to, from London to Manchester, you know, and was paying the same as. Uh, someone on minimum wage, he was saying paying the same percentage of his wage, it would probably cost him £50,000 to go to Manchester return, which which it should. You know, why should one guy who's poor pay more than the guy who's rich? They should all pay the same. Um, and, you know, added to the fact that where did all the money come from anyway and how did they get their hands on it, you know? Um... So, you know, so that, that's, that's what he did. He, he, he got his son to do that. And as it happens, he told me that his son never shoplifted again, which was fine because that's, 
you know, not that's not what he wanted to necessarily encourage his son to do or not to do. Um, it was something else that he was that he was teaching his son. So I have that question for you. You know, is money a scam? Is paying for things a scam? Are we being scammed by paying for almost everything that we pay for? Is it a scam? You know, is it, is it a scam that a three-bedroom house in London costs £600,000? Is that a scam? What do you think, guys?